Your experience with limb loss is unique and personal. The first six months post-surgery will be full of challenges. However, this is the period where you define what living a full and productive life with limb loss is to you. Hello, I'm Dr. Terence Sheehan, the Chief Medical Officer for the Amputee Coalition and Adventist Healthcare, Physical Health and Rehabilitation. I have worked with amputees for 15 years as they've begun their journey living with limb loss. I'm going to show you what to expect clinically from your medical team over a six month period. This would be from after surgery, from healing to pain management, to mastering the use of your prostheses. Please remember that these are general expectations. Your situation will vary based on your individual circumstances. Let's begin. The first issue your medical team addresses post-amputation is pain. If pain is not managed properly, it can prevent you from progressing. If you are experiencing pain, it can be from multiple causes. The surgery site, musculoskeletal, injured nerves. Your team will help identify what the causes are and recommend treatment. Next, your team keeps an eye on the amputation site, focusing on the limbs healing properly. Based on your circumstance, this can be during the first two to four weeks following your surgery. The limb is cleansed and dressed regularly to assist with the healing process. You can expect to have the staples or your sutures removed by around the third week. Your team will also begin to teach you how to take care of your limb, even when you return home. During the two to four week healing period, your team also addresses swelling in the limb which is common after surgery, even after the staples and sutures have been removed. Your certified prosthetist, also known as a CPO, will place a shrinker on your limb to help reduce the swelling. The shrinker is a compressive garment that helps push excess fluid out of the residual limb. Your shrinker should be comfortable to wear. Please communicate any discomfort you experience to your doctor. Once the swelling subsides, your CPO measures you for your prostheses. This is done through either a traditional casting method or by using computer technology to provide a 3D rendering of your limb. The prosthetic limb is then made in a lab. Now the goal is to become an expert in using your prostheses. Once the prosthetic limb is made, your CPO fits the prostheses to your limb. It should be comfortable. You will begin physical and occupational therapy. This is to regain your strength and balance and learn how to properly use your prostheses. During therapy, your team focuses on your gait using the prostheses. They will make sure you are standing and walking as naturally as possible. Your prostheses may be manipulated to help create that natural alignment. Then you will learn to care for your limb and your prostheses. Emphasis is placed on preventing injury to your skin, as well as your whole body. Safety first. During this time, you may also see shrinking of the residual limb. This is normal, but needs to be addressed to maintain that intimate fit of the prostheses. You will be taught to add socks, or even have the socket remade so that it fits properly. For those with amputation on one side, protecting the other side known as the sound limb, becomes most important. Your team will teach you how to prevent injury and further limb loss. You will become the expert at protecting that sound limb. With each day of physical and occupational therapy, you become an expert in the use of your prosthetic limb. You are now ready to live a full and productive life with limb loss, the life you define for yourself.